Good morning from Ottawa guys. It is a Saturday, December 22nd and welcome to Vlogmas 22. It has snowed quite a bit overnight. I'm going to show you guys in a second up beside my window what it looks like. This is the current scene I'm looking at guys. What the heck? There was no snow on the ground at all last night when I went to bed. And then I woke up to this. So... Yeah, that happened. So anyways, Peter and I are going to go out today to take some photos because I have some stuff I need to do work on. Surprise, surprise. It's December 22nd. Still can't take time off work. That's how it goes in the world of like blogging, vlogging, just being a content creator, especially when you're living online, work never ends, especially in the holidays. You don't really get a break. So my goal for 2019 this year is to kind of develop a better and healthier work-life balance so that I can take time off when I need to and I'm not always working because it gets really stressful sometimes. Right now, Peter's with his barber getting a haircut. I'm going to go take a shower, wash my hair because this ish is oily and needs to be fixed. And then I'm going to get ready and wait for him to come and pick me up. We're going to go shoot some stuff in the forest near my place. And then we're going to head downtown and shoot some really fun things on my old university campus. Maybe. I'm not sure. We haven't completely decided the shoot location just yet. And then we're going to head back to the Nordstrom Rack, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my stories when I first opened in the summer. It's so good. There's so much amazing stuff on selection there. But yeah, I'll take you there with me to show you what you can get. And we're going to run some errands there, pick up some stuff. I have a couple of Christmas presents I still like to pick up. I'm not the best Christmas shopper. I always leave things to the last minute. So there's a couple people I still need to shop for. So let's see if I can successfully find stuff for them today. Or else I'm going to be screwed for Christmas Eve. One hour later. I'm a big person. I finished showering and look who arrived. It's Peter. He was so sweet and got me coffee. Wait, let me go find it. I'm back with my coffee in hand. Picked it up for me on his way here. What are you doing? Stop. You got a haircut if you guys can't tell. Model, model, model. Vogue, 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 Vogue. <laughs> what were your comments? What did you say about your haircut? What? What do you mean? What did you tell me about your haircut? I thought it was great. I went to my old barber. Okay. Shouts yeah. to Billy. If you're in Ottawa, go find Billy. Okay. That's my guy. What about my haircut? What about your haircut? What about them? That's a, that's a nice cut. You told me I do better fade. Maybe. Because I've trained you. Hear that, guys? But if you nice train fade. somebody, that's, they can do something. That's a nice fade. That. Anyways, I'm waiting for my brother to get out of the bathroom so that I can do my hair because I need to curl it so that we can go we'll out do and do some stuff. Yeah, but my curling hair is in the bathroom. It's in the bathroom. The door is locked. I'll get another one. There is no other one. Why don't you have another one? You need a backup. Always backup. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go do my hair. Even your hair curlers. Stop! You're so annoying sometimes. I'm serious. Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair and then we're gonna go shoot outside. And then I think we're gonna head downtown. Maybe go to Nordstrom Rack to chill and take a look and see what they have. That's not downtown. Where is it? That's east side. Alright, well, now you know how east side. educated I am of the Ottawa Geographical Land Map. Land Map? Ottawa Geographical Layout. Is that correct? I can't speak sure. English today, guys. Sure. But yeah, yeah, I am not very well versed in how Ottawa is laid out, apparently. But yeah, we're gonna head out to Nordstrom Rack, check it out, do some shopping, probably find some last minute Christmas gifts because I have one or two people still left on my list. Can you? I have a hair stuck in my mouth. Can you pull it out? Oh. Nope. Thanks, babe. Gross. All right, so come along with us as we hang out in Ottawa today. We're heading out, venturing into the cold to do some shooting. It is quite cold here in Ottawa. After living in Toronto for four years, I forget how cold it gets when I come back you got home. Soft. I know, I did get soft. So soft yeah. Have my quintessential toque on and two jackets not because i had to shoot them both but honestly because i'm so freaking cold that i can i want to bring one that i can throw on to myself afterwards to keep me warm you should wear it now yeah but like we're almost here so there's no point there's Silly no point idea. we're headed to this park near my house in ottawa to shoot some stuff because you know i've got to get that quintessential winter shot <laughs> Look at it's like freezing I hate winter, guys. I hate winter. Thanks, babe. Oh, into the woods we go. You shooting here? This is a cute spot, eh? Yeah. Yeah? This okay, let's shoot here. I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, time lapse of us shooting. You probably saw me do some pretty dumb there, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get the picture. So we're gonna head back to my place now. 
grab our stuff and then go to Nordstrom Rack and shoot some other stuff downtown. Not at Nordstrom Rack. Okay, we're not shooting stuff at, not Nordstrom, shooting Rack. at Nordstrom Rack. We're gonna shoot downtown and then head to Nordstrom Rack if to do a little time. bit of last minute shopping. If we have time. No, we're gonna go. No. We're I gonna go. No. We're gonna go. No. <laughs> yes. I promise nothing. No, I you always no. promise me everything. No, I you don't. You promised the world to me. No, you that's a lie. To me. I did not. <laughs> Watch ice. Watching ice has been watched. So we went back home. I changed outfits. This is outfit numero dos. It's a little red. You guys know I've been loving red recently. And we are now downtown. We're gonna shoot out in front of Parliament. Parked quite far away though. It's a little bit far, right? Or it's is it like free parking? It's free parking, so we're not gonna complain because you know, compared to Toronto where you literally have to pay to park everywhere, this is way better. We're gonna go head up there to shoot, and then if there's enough time, we can go to Nordstrom Rack. We'll see. Yeah? If there's time. If there's time. I'll make sure that there's time. We'll see if there's time. <laughs> okay, so let's go head out and shoot some stuff up on Parliament. We change of plans. We're gonna go park underground instead because, ooh, swerve. Yeah, we're gonna go park underground just because it's a lot closer to where we wanna be. And it's kinda cold outside. So the less walking we have to do, the better. Is it filming? Yeah. Okay, okay. you're good. Okay. We just finished shooting part two. If you can see my mittens, pretend you have x-ray vision and you can envision how many fingers I have holding up. It's two. And it is freezing outside, so we're gonna head back into the car in the World Exchange Plaza and we're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. Can we go? Sure, fine. Yes! <laughs> so I'm last minute Christmas shopping. So we're gonna head over to Nordstrom Rack. It is, where is it exactly? East side. It's on the east side, but what's that area? Is it train yards? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's in an area of um, Ottawa called Train Yards where they have a bunch of like shops and stuff. It's kind of like a shopping the plaza. shops are built inside of old trains. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. It, but did it used to be actually a train yard a long time ago so. or no? I guess so. It did? It's turned left here. I guess that's why it's called Train Yards. Ooh, it's windy. It is too cold to vlog, so I'll check in with you guys once we get inside to Nordstrom Rack. Woohoo! You ready to get your shopping on? Mm -hmm. Well, something I didn't mention to you guys is that I forgot my entire wallet in Toronto. Dumb. And I only realized this about three hours into our drive back to Ottawa. Literally, when we had one hour left to get here, I was like, oh, shit, I don't have anything. I don't have my credit card. I don't have my debit card. I don't have my driver's license, health card, business card, nothing. Literally nothing. So I can't even drive my car right now. Peter has to drive me around everywhere. I can't even drive a car in Ottawa. I have to get people to drive me everywhere. Luckily, thank the Lords, Richard has the keys to our place and he's babysitting and watering our plants so he was able to like express mail them to me. So this should be coming in by Monday. Fingers crossed, I hope so. With all the like postal stoppages, postal Canada Post shortages, strikes, whatever. It's caught up, relax. It's caught up now, but I still feel like it's, I feel like it's still on delay though, right? I don't know, man. Do I work for Canada Post? I feel like they're delayed. Anyway, so we're at Nordstrom Rack, and if I want to buy anything, Peter's gonna have to put on his credit card for me. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so my camera battery died, so I've got to vlog on my phone now, and I'm inside Nordstrom Rack in the designer shoe section, and I want to show you guys these boots that I fell in love with last time, didn't get a chance to buy. They're still here, but I remembered why I didn't buy them. So, this stunning pair of Fendi Fly Hire bright red boots. They know how much I'm loving red right now. They're amazing. However, they are all scuffed up at the heel and for $300. 300 bucks, still not worth the price for a pair of damaged shoes, but look how beautiful these are. Guys, my heart hurts the fact that I can't get these. I wish there was a brand new pair. I would totally scoop them up. But this is also kind of why I love shopping in Ottawa, just because anytime I go shopping in Toronto, anything that I like, if I don't buy it right away, it's gonna be bought instantly within like the next day. Whereas in Ottawa, I think people aren't as keen on designer goods. I don't know, you guys tell me. I just feel like the consumer behavior here is not as like keen on purchasing super expensive stuff. So I can always guarantee to come back and still find things. So hopefully I'll find something good today while we're here. Another example of amazing Nordstrom Rack finds are this pair of Gucci heels. Look how beautiful they are. I love the detailing of lace. Unfortunately, not my size. It's 37, but as you can see, this price is 300, 1300. It's insane, guys.
Okay guys, so I'm in the changing room. I'm trying a bunch of stuff. Check out this color palette. It's like literally the freaking rainbow. I'm gonna walk you guys through everything that I'm gonna try on because there's some amazing steals going on right now. Apparently it is a clearance. So let's see if I can find anything that I can take home with me. It's this insanely colorful rainbow puffer jacket. I really don't need more jackets guys, but it was calling my name when I saw it in the rack and it was in clearance, so I figured why not? So it's got really fluorescent colors. I don't think it's picking that up that well up on the camera because it's actually a lot brighter in person. But if I can see if I can show you in the back, it says the middle of nowhere. And I think it's so cute, it's so cozy. It is a size 38 though. I'm usually a size 36 when it comes to European sizing, so not sure if I need it. And for like 400 bucks, a little bit iffy, but I'll find out what the full price is. So this is the brand of the jacket. It's called Mira Mikati. I've never actually heard of it before. And I believe this is a US 6. Yeah, it's a US 6. Pricing wise, let's take a look. $1,200 almost. And it is currently now 370 60% savings. Do I need another jacket like this? Oh, no. I found a reason to not buy it. It is all wrecked on the sleeve here. So, yep, this is going straight back. But very cute and an amazing price. So unfortunately also in a, in a size six is this gorgeous Lafayette blazer. It is way too big for me. If I didn't have the camera on, I'd be able to show you. Um, it's just too big in general, but it's going for an amazing price. So I actually think I might bring this home. Yeah, my mom try on to see it fits her because this is a steal. It's so cute though. So it is by the brand Lafayette 148 New York. Like I said, size six, way too big for me. I'm usually closer to a size zero or two. Are you guys ready? Wait for the price. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is on sale for $13.89. Regular suggested retail is $9.08. $9.08, guys. What the heck? It's a 98% savings. Although I don't know if I want to get it because if my mom doesn't like it, then I'm stuck with it. But what the heck? This is such a good steal. I'm so impressed. Next up on the chopping block is this sweater. It is a mustard color. This is probably a better representation of the color. I should have done this instead of doing it all in the mirror because there's these like strange glowy lights inside of the mirror that really like helps to glow you up, but it's really hard for video to showcase. You guys know how much I love my sweaters. I don't have anything this color quite yet, and I love the massive cuffed sleeves here at the wrist. So cozy, and it's long enough that I can like do this. This is what I love to do with my sweaters. I actually really love the fit. It's like a thick, chunky cable knit, exactly what I'm looking for in the fall winter time. So let's take a look at the price. All right, so when it comes to sweaters, I'm usually more of an extra small, but I can go up to a small just to give it a looser fit. And this is by a brand called Grey. It's by Jason Wu. Like I know Jason Wu, the designer, but I didn't know he had a brand called Grey. This sweater, it is a beautiful, luxurious, kind of like knit material. It's very thick and high quality. Price on this is $49.99 from 6.55, 92% savings. What the heck? I had honestly originally thought that this was like a contemporary line from Jason Wu because a lot of designers do that to make their designs much more affordable to the average consumer. But this is really pricey for contemporary sweaters, so like 6.55. I'm very curious as to like what this brand actually is for Jason Wu and whether or not it's a completely different one that he has or it's part of a staple. But I honestly think this is a winner. Probably going to get this one, guys. Okay, I was genuinely hoping that these would fit, but you know, hoop dreams, guys. These are Celine pants. They are this beautiful cream banana color, but as you can see, they're way too long and also way too big on me. I can't even like get these tailored. It just wouldn't fit properly overall. But I do wish they fit because they have these like really nice pleats that fall down. The only thing I don't like is the see-through portion where you can see where the pockets turn into just like the material of the pants so not fun but these would be great for anybody who wants like a casual summer outfit you can wear these like at the wedding to work they fit you somebody please come buy these from the Ottawa Nordstrom Rack breaks my heart that I can't take them home well, let's go take a look at the price would be a great addition to my closet the price is in already peek and see 160 from the regular retail price of two thousand dollars that's a 91 percent savings this is insane. Who would buy these pants for $2,000? I do not know. But who would buy them for one sixty? dollars Me. That's it. <laughs> Too bad they don't fit, guys. It's so sad. You would think that after learning that this pair didn't fit, then I probably would have just guessed right away that this one fit. It is a little bit more structured, also from Celine. Wide leg pants. It is this beautiful teal aquamarine color. Here's a better capture of the, the pants. They're a little bit more greener than this. The legging just like throws it off completely. But I love how structured they are. These would be absolutely great for work. Fortunately, too big of a waist. Also, too long. 
on the legs as well too. But they're beautiful. Guys, a girl can dream to have Celine pants. Let's look at the price. So yep, yeah, Celine, beautiful structured pant, amazing material as well too. And this is the price. It is $256.78 down from $2,000. So not as big of a sale. It is only 87% off. But I think for the quality of the material, this is a really good value pair of pants. Please let me also come get these so I don't cry myself to sleep at night. Normally I love Isabel Moran, but this is a straight no. <laughs> I look like I should be nursing a child. It is, the print is cute. Like this is genuinely pretty. The material is great. It is like a silk. But the overall fit itself is just a straight no. Maybe if I had a belt, it would look a lot better. I think if I had a belt on this and the right shoes, it would be perfect. But it's Isabel Moran, guys, and it's also for an amazing steal. Let's talk pricing. This really pretty Isabel Moran dress with the ruffles at the bottom comes out to $102.99 from regular retail price of $1,280. That is a 90% savings. Not bad if you ask me. I think the quality is great. It's just the fit that's rubbing me off for this. So, goodbye. This dress is a little interesting. I already knew from looking at it that I wouldn't buy it, but I just want to purely try it on to see how it looked like. It's from a brand called Y Project, and it is this beautiful kind of like velvet material with like this strange structure in the front. This was giving me like my old early 2000s figure skating vibe, so kind of why I want to get it. But it doesn't fit the best. It's a size 38, smaller than the other 38s I've tried on today so far, but I don't know where I'll ever wear this too. So this interesting velvet dress is from a brand called Y Project. I've never heard of it before. Let's look at the pricing. It is $250 from $19.50, so that is an 87% savings. Quite expensive still for a dress that doesn't like you can't wear on an everyday basis, but what a steal. So it looks like the only thing I'm gonna be picking up today is going to be this mustard sweater. I think it's cute. Worth the price, 50 bucks. Not bad, and that's quite a good bargain from the $650 value. So, this is coming home with you guys. Decisions, decision. Found him. Not helping. <laughs> trying to buy, well, trying to determine whether or not to get this pair of boots. They're super cozy inside, but they're like a sweet material. So, you're gonna have to treat it all the time. And you already have a lot of Chelsea boots. Is it necessary for you to get another pair? I don't know. I like them, but I don't love the silhouette. I think you could find better ones. All right. Okay, so back into the. The shoe racks to go, babe. I'm sorry, you weren't able to find anything today. Don't care. Made it out of Nordstrom Rack successfully, got my stuff. I ended up getting the mustard sweater and that $14 Lafayette blazer, which is an insane steal. Um, I'm gonna see if it fits my mom. If not, if it fits Peter's sister, it's gonna go to somebody because the price is way too good to not leave that behind. And yeah, when you see a deal, you take it. Wendy's Pit Stop. Hello, welcome to Wendy's. Hey, uh, can I get a large chili? I also get a three-piece chicken strip. And two JBCs. Is that everything? Yeah. Actually, sorry. Could I change those to two spicy chicken wraps instead? <laughs> two spicy chicken instead. Yeah, that's it. Hello. Hey, on visa, please. Thank you. Yay! Thanks, man. Thank you. Food acquired. Do the chat. So my chicken okay, fingers. Two wraps. That's what you got, right? Yes. And my chili, yes, and they even gave us hot sauce. I am so excited and ready to dig into this. The most messed up thing is that this is actually the first meal that I've had all day today. How weird is that? I usually get really hungry and like eat by at least 2 p.m. in the afternoon and it's 5.40 right now and this is the first thing that I've eaten for the entire day. I've had coffee though and hot chocolate. I don't know why I just didn't consume any food. This is gonna be a sweet, sweet dinner. Making a pit stop into Canadian Tire. I want to pick up a little mini sled to put Kobe on so we can take some photos of it. That's where I'm coming into Canadian Tire because last year I tried to buy it and they're completely sold out by the time I came in to get it because they were done with their seasonal stuff. So hoping this year because we're right on time we can get it. Is it not open? Oh no! 6 p.m. They're closed. Well, lucky for you, now we get to go home. I'm gonna have to come back another day because they're closed now. I didn't realize that they close at 6 p.m. That sucks. Well, I'll make a trip back once I get my driver's license in the mail and I can drive myself out here. Hey, fuzz butt. Are you gonna howl? Are you howling from the sirens? Hope you can make it. I am back home now. My camera battery is currently charging and I'm eating some sort of dessert. Let's see what this is. Tong Yun. This is called Tongyun. If you guys are Cantonese, you'll know what this is. 
Can you explain to me what this is for? It's like a dumpling with uh, some more like a dessert. This is with black sesame. Black sesame? And why are we eating this? Because today is the first day of winter. In, uh, in southern Chinese, people get together more like a... Uh, yeah, uh, like the uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. A uh, family try to get together and have this. Means they circle round. Means complete. Okay. Oh, but it's done in the. So it is winter solstice, which means the longest night of the year, which also means the days, the nights get shorter. So we're gonna but, be eating this, which is round, kind of like a, round a dessert. Shape of the balls means infinity. Means. Yes, the round shapes of the balls mean infinity. Health and Ooh! prosperous. Condensation. Let's give this a try and see how it tastes. Apparently these are super hot. I don't know if they're going to be hot or not. It's not bad. It's good. I like it. It's sweet. It's very yummy. So when I was younger, I used to eat this and it had ginger in it. And I thought it was the most disgusting thing ever because I hate the taste of ginger. But these are good. So if you're like me and you're somebody who doesn't like to eat ginger, Get the black sesame ones because they taste a lot better. It's my second one. I have a total of five. Are you supposed to eat five or are you supposed to eat more? As many as you want. As many the as you want. I'm going to eat five. The better it's a sign of prosperity mm. uh, because each one of them is a circle. Each one of them, the more of it, the more, I guess, the more of uh, prosperity, more power, the more happiness you'll have. Okay. They're good. Get them, guys.